Eddie, you know what that wall is? What do you think that wall is? What is it? Life. Life is gonna hit you. Does anybody live a perfect life? No. No. Life is a never-ending process that you're always gonna keep growing. That wall is life. Life. That wall is those obstacles that come up to you, right? You're driving, boom, you get in a car accident. Damn, are you going to cry all day about you cry something? What are you going to do? Fix it. Fix it, right? Let me tell you something. <laughs> A lot of people live like this. Okay. They start feeling good. They start feeling wonderful. They're happy. They're all excited. And then what happens? Somebody comes and says something to them. And for whatever reason, oh, I hate myself. Oh, I'm so fat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> happen, two days pass, maybe hopefully an hour or two, but time passes. And the whole time you're living in that moment of the past. Finally, what happens? You finally get out of it, gets out of your head, you start feeling good, you start feeling wonderful, whatever happens, then all of a sudden what happens? Somebody comes and says something to you. And you know what sucks, really? It's always the people most closest to you, your family members, your partner, you know, yeah. your best friends. It's always that person. Right? And it hurts. You know, but sometimes they don't know about this. That's the thing. So what happens? They say something to you. Boo-hoo, I hate myself. I'm so fat. I can't do nothing. Why does this always happen to me? Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, three days happen. You know, this is three days that you're wasting. That's true. And then it happens again. But you know what? You're living like this right now. You're living at a plateau. You're not going anywhere. You know? A lot of people always... Do this to themselves, right? People always ask me, hey, Dan, why are you all so happy? And you know what I tell them? Why not? It's my choice, right? If I want, I can complain all day what my wife said to me, what the baby did, what this happened, I'm hungry, I'm this, that. You know, I can do that. <laughs> but I feel like disgusted. I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. You know, I can't do anything. So the way I live, I live like this. Right? What I mean by this, I feel great, I feel wonderful. Life hits me, it's gonna hit me, you know? But I'm only gonna deal with it for just a little bit amount of time. I'm not gonna spend three, four days thinking about what somebody said that my haircut was messed up or that I was short, or that I had a funny hairdo, or you know, whatever. I don't care. It's, it's my choice. I don't have to listen to them. Now, people always ask me, well, how do you do that? You know, how do you, how do you, how are you able to just put that wall there? How, how do you let it not affect you? And you know what I tell them? I said, it's practice. Honestly, it's, pra it's just like riding a bike. It's the hormones that you push in your mind, and I'm going to show you a little experiment right now to show you how effective it is. Now, what happens? Something happens to me, right? Somebody says something, you know. What I do is I think of something that makes me happy. Believe it or not, that's how that's how it works. These are your neurons, like, okay. You guys know neurons, right? Okay, you, uh, I'm not, you know, again, that's a neuron. So that it kind of looks like a hand that was going to do it, right? So if you guys know, your whole body pretty much works with neurons. That's how your body communicates with itself, okay? One neuron is connected to another, which pushes hormones, okay? So everybody's different, you know, their whole life they're probably, you, you ever talk to people and whatever you say, boom, they're like, ah! like, you know, like, holy crap, the real yeah. like, whoa, or maybe you've done it, right? And then afterwards, you're like, oh, why did I say that? You know? And that, it happens to us, you know? Oh, man, why did I do that? Because right there, you were, you were in control. Your emotions got, the, got a hold of you, okay? You have an automatic reaction. This is the way your neurons are wired, okay? This is the way it's wired, okay? Now, when I tell you something, when, I, when, when something's going on, you, you guys got to remember, thoughts, right, follow feelings, follow action. Right? If you think about it, you get like this, oh, and then you do it, right? Either good or bad. It doesn't go wrong. It's either good or bad. So anyways, this is 
what happens. Many times you'll get that feeling that once you think about it, once you start feeling that, oh, that's that point in time where you have to do something you like. Play a song. So you guys like 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 music, right? To me, I always say, "And tonight's gonna be a good night," right? You think, think about those words. And tonight's gonna be a good night, and you're like, "Hell yeah, it's gonna be a good night," you know? So right there, you're automatically transforming your mind, your thought process. So if you start again, you're not gonna learn this from one day to the next. You probably will. Everybody's a little bit different. But it's a process. It's something that you have to realize that, you know what, once you feel that, let me do something. Stop this automatic connection before you get start saying something you get to regret. After a while, just like riding a bike, what happens is you start connecting your neurons to a different way. This is science, ladies and gentlemen. This is so true. This is so true. You know? So instead of having that automatic response, you know, when somebody says something to you just to get you mad, and you're like, oh, okay, you know, they're like, wait a minute, but why aren't you upset, you know, because they want you to. Sometimes people feed off that, you know, but once you're able to get off that, you just rewind your mind. It's called neural plasticity.